Welcome to The Liquid Drago Presents Fun with Flams. Are you having fun with your flams? Hi, I'm Felipe Drago and welcome to Drago Drums. Today we're talking about flams. Flams is a great rudiment that not many people know how to tackle it. So they think it's very difficult, but if you know how to practice it, it's not that difficult. And this is what I will try to clarify today. How to start practicing flams to make it part of your vocabulary. In theory, the flam is two notes being played at the same time. In theory, but in practice they're not. Why? Because you have one hand higher than the other. So therefore, you're gonna move your hands at the same time, but the stick closer to the pad will play before the stick further from the pad. So this step is called the grace note that comes a little, a fraction of a second before the main note. So remember the previous video about pre-stroke, downstroke, tap stroke, upstroke. Those strokes can also be applied to flams and they will make your, your flam play much better. So if you start, for example, with the right hand flam, the left hand playing a tap, and the right hand playing a free stroke, you're gonna get it all the time. Now let's reverse. The right hand plays the tap, the left hand plays the free stroke. See? You're also gonna get it all the time. Once you, once you master this, you're always gonna get the flam. And there's other stuff you can also do with tap stroke and up stroke and down stroke and free stroke that's going to make your life a lot easier when you're gonna play other combinations. So start practicing free stroke one hand, tap stroke the other one. And whatever the hand you choose to start, you do the same with the other side. After you practice that and you're comfortable with the flams, then let's incorporate the upstroke and the downstroke. So one hand plays, the hand that's up plays the downstroke, the hand that's down plays the upstroke. practicing that, now you prepare for the first rudiment of the flam family, the flam tap. Which is a flam followed by a tap, as the name says. So what happens is the main hand plays a downstroke, the hand that plays the grace note plays an upstroke, and then a tap with the hand that's down. So here's the flam tap. Okay? We played a rudiment in the other video, the paradiddle, the single paradiddle. Down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap. There's the flam paradiddle. So now we're going to put a flam in the beginning. The way to move and play it is the same way you did before. The only thing is you're playing a grace note with the first single stroke. Same technique. And then again, once you get that, it's all a matter of speeding it up. Okay? How are you going to practice different combinations for flams and increase your flam vocabulary. Ha! Our book, our best friend, Stick Control. This book starts with flams on page 16 and goes 
up to page 22. Six pages of flams in total, 192 flam combinations. Okay? And if you use the combinations of down, tap, up, or whatever it is, for the, whatever necessity you have, you're going to be able to play those exercises easily. So I'm going to open the book now on page 16, and I'm going to play some of the exercises to illustrate what I'm talking about. So exercise number one is the right hand plays a free stroke and the left hand plays taps. Exercise number two is the other way around. The, right, the left hand plays the free stroke and the right hand plays the taps. Let me take a look at exercise number three. So now number three, the right hand plays a downstroke, the grace note is an upstroke, and then two taps with the hand that's down. And let me take a look at exercise number four. Well, wow, number four is very interesting because the left hand plays a tap, the right hand plays a downstroke, and then the left hand plays an upstroke, and the right hand plays a tap. It's like this. So it's all there. How to move your hands, downstroke, upstroke, tap stroke, free stroke, and the flams. So you have basically, basically, 192 ideas for drum fills with flams. That's too many drum fills. <laughs> Don't put it all in one song. <laughs> and you can also use flams to play grooves. There's a very famous song by a band called the Allen Brothers, Whipping Post, that there's a video on YouTube where the drummer explains that the song, the, the groove for the song is a flam accent. Okay, and there's a whole section on Don Femlar's book, It's Your Move, that is called From Flam to Groove. Okay, so also the application of flams, it's a vast. Uh, here we're, we're practicing, as everything we do with technique, we're practicing on the pad. So everything is played on the same surface. But when applying the flam on the drum kit, they don't need to be on the same drum. You can have one hand on the tom and the other on the snare or four tom. Then it's up to you to use your creativity. Okay. I hope you liked. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell to get notifications. And see you next time.